do that. Um, hitting 15,000 of coin for the first time today, that was a landmark move. This last move higher, though, seems a little different from what we saw in 2017. First, Bitcoin is becoming more practical. No one wanted to invest in a digital currency they didn't understand, and Bitcoin was even associated with potential illegal activities, which made people even more nervous. But now, the city of Miami is looking into how Bitcoin could be used as a currency to pay municipal employee salaries, or an option for people to pay for city services and fees. The commissioners just voted on this um, study and how it could work, but the mayor of Miami is excited about it and he's calling it being crypto forward. Now, even large firms like Tesla, for example, saying that it had bought $1.5 billion in coins and that it would take the digital currency as a form of payment for its cars. You've also got MasterCard um, saying that it's gonna start working with crypto in its network and PayPal and BNY Mellon also showing some support for cryptocurrency as well. It feels like Bitcoin is being legitimized in a way by these brands now. The second thing is this, in a low interest rate environment with the stock market at record highs, investors are looking for diversification and Bitcoin is one way, volatile way, but it's made people a lot of money. If you owned a Bitcoin a year ago, you'd be up roughly 390% Larry today. Final point on this, regulation, that's something that we could be see, uh, seeing sooner rather than later. It could change the landscape, but um, buying Bitcoin, if not for the faint of heart, we do have to tell people that it's been volatile, it bears risk. So this regulation piece of it could be interesting as the year progresses forward. Yes, uh, actually in the later days of our administration, Treasury, NEC, and others were looking at the regulation of the issue here. The Bitcoin people and the cryptocurrency people don't want that, they're more libertarian. Okay, I get it. I think Bitcoin and this whole movement is here to stay. But question, there's not much out there in terms of transactions. Now you mentioned banks and credit mm -hmm. cards are going to accept this as currency. A um, friend of mine who knows a lot about it says, outside the crypto world, which is really the investment part, there's only about $10 billion circulating for purchase of goods and services and so forth. So the technology for the blockchain, which is the ledger, and the actual transactions and then the wire transfer has a long way to go, doesn't it? It absolutely does. And before it sort of becomes pervasive and widespread and, and more usable, the transactions that you're talking about, I've done a lot of research on them, a lot of them are international as well. And that's why there's this speculation that people are using Bitcoin for shady transactions, mm -hmm. for example. And so regulation actually could potentially help and make it more legitimate in that way. Um, but it also can sort of put a damper on what's been happening, some of the flexibility that you're given with Bitcoin as well. So I think that's the issue here. But you see Tesla, um, you see banks getting behind it, and all of a sudden, people can understand it. You could never touch a Bitcoin. You're still not going to be able to touch Elon it. Elon Musk, but look, I got to know him a bit uh, in the Washington experience. He's a very smart guy. Maybe he's the smartest guy on the planet. He's also a good marketing guy. Yeah. So he's out there with this move and driving it up, but that's fine. Look, this is a question we will discuss over a period of time. Is Bitcoin going to really be a useful utilitarian money. What Art Laffer would say, does it have the moneyness of money as right. transactions as well as or just as an investment store of value? Is it currency or is it investment? I think you make a great point and that's really the issue here. You know, when we talk about currency specifically to pay for things, they're backed by central banks. They're controlled right. by central banks. I this it. isn't. Hard break, we're okay. out. Jackie DeAngelo, <laughs> absolutely terrific stuff. Folks, we will be here again tomorrow evening, our special